Hello, welcome back to a new video. Yes, I know I'm not Shad, but hey, it's a video nonetheless. So, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Impact Client. This is a hacked client for Java Edition, not Bedrock, Java Edition. So, first, head your way to impactclient.net. The link will be in the description. Scroll down to Downloads and click on Windows. Now it will do a little countdown. It would display add here, but I got add block, so there we go. All right, it's just right now downloading. We run that, and you might see this little error where it says Windows protected your PC, and we don't care. So you press more info, run it anyway. And then it's going to do some more processing in the background. Let's see. There we go. Okay, so now we got the installer up. And it has a few options, so first of all, don't touch anything. So, look at Minecraft version. These are the list of available versions. So, I'm going to do the most recent, 1.16.5. And now, before we press install, we need to make sure that we have the actual game installed. What I mean is, you have to run the game so it has the default game files. So, we'll head over to the Minecraft launcher, run the version. This should just take a little second. Three. Now we just need to wait for the game window to pop up, and when it's loaded, see, if you've never played this version, it will have to take some time to download, but see, there we are done, quick game, there we go. Now, we go back to the impact launcher, and if you have any other launchers, you click it here. Most of the time, you're just using the official launcher. Like, who who uses this stuff? Cringe. Make sure Impact is on latest. Um, do not include Optifine because it sometimes screws up your game a little bit. So you just need to press install, and then there we go. See, we got a little sunglasses guy. All right, now we can close that, and it should pop up. If it doesn't, it's easy. You just close it, and then you reopen it. There we go. And then we're going to do some loading. And see, there it is. Impact for 1.16.5. And now let's play it. Now, Impact is it's, um, mostly known for it being a very clean interface and being very modern even though that um it it only supports a few versions it's still very nice so there you go it, it might do this depends on if you're on a lower end PC even mine is pretty powerful so there we go this is in fact there's a few little buttons here just just don't worry, so I'm gonna hop on a world just to um, show you what this can do. So, impact world, and let's make it super flat. There we go. And I'm gonna show you what most of these modules do, even though you'll be able to like recognize most of them. So, as you can see, I already got some of these mods loaded. I have radar here. I have like a little speed bar, so it sees a spark. And you can just kind of figure it out. Like there's a auto cheat one, solid trajectories, all sorts of other things. So you no know, one thing that I do want to show you is this uh, Discord RPC. This one right here. So I can open up Discord, and it will even show me as uh, that I'm using impact as you see here 
Impact Utility Mod, and Game Single Player, and it will show how long you've been playing. It, that's, I think that's a pretty cool neat feature. No other client has it. So, so this is different from Horizon or any other kind of hacked client. You don't use Y. I'm pressing Y right now. You use the right shift, and you open this fun little menu. You can just hover over them, click it, and this this just basically moves you around. There you go. Hey, you you click on the little arrow to um, interact with things. It, it's pretty cool, and um, but you know, there's this normal little GUI here, nuker. That's always fun. Uh oh. Oopsies. Oh yeah, you probably didn't see that because it was too fast. But um, this has a fun feature called auto respawn, where it would automatically respawn you. So here I'm going to die again and just look closely at my death screen. See? Did you see it? Here, let me see if I can turn it down. If I can find it, that is. Uh, let's see. Yeah, see, this this place has tons of things. Ooh, yeah, this is fun. Oh, and I lost the village. Oh, there, there it is. See, click TP, right click, and you just start going places. Works best if you have a razor auto clicking mouse like this. Yep. But here, let's let's just stop that. Um, baritone. That's this like AI thing. This. Only do this if you're like really advanced. I know how to do this, but I'm not going to show it to you because this video is going to be way too long then. As you have search, this um, can look for blocks, but in order to configure it, you'll need to go into the pause menu. We have this fun little impact button. Yeah, th this this is amazing. So we can add friends. Um, this is if you know, say. These are your friends, and you don't want kill or attacking them. This is what you would use. These are search. This would add um, different blocks. So let's see. Um, let's look for uh, oak logs. There we go. And let's make sure we have a search on. Where did it go? There we go. See? There. It highlights you know, all oak blocks with a little box, and this could be helpful for finding any, like, dupe stashes or illegal blocks, if that's your thing. And, you know, yeah, I I kind of forgot about this feature, but, um, you can also start searching for stuff. So, like, if you're in the menu, you can just start clicking, let's see, uh, kill. See, there you go, it just kind of blanks everything out, but it highlights that result, and I think that's pretty cool. And yes, we have radar. You've got a little speedometer right here, which shows you how fast you're going. So, yep. Let me go back into the impact. Oh, yeah. If you can't see from the top text up here, this is to see if you're being screen shared. You can just go whoop. No more button. Let's see. Um, x ray. This basically customizes your x ray. And, uh,. This just opens up this GUI thing. You can make different macros if you're into that kind of thing. Credits. N emotional support, yes. And I think that's pretty much it. If you have more alts, you can do that. This is only if you really just have lots of alts. I don't think anyone would have that kind of stuff, but yeah. And much like Horion, this has its own little thing, see? But when I press the dot, it makes it blue. See? There's all sorts of fun things. Let's, let's see. Look, you can, you know, do all sorts of things. Um, even though that, because this is not Bedrock, Java is a little more, like, I'd say, better in sorts of hacking. So you won't be able to, like... You spawn in items or anything. It's it's usually pretty good. You can do 
all sorts of other things. There's the spammer. Let's see if I can. F I've never tried this out. Yeah, look, it's even yelling at me now. That's how you know I'm bad. Yeah, help spam. All sorts of other things you could do. But yeah, Impact is just a very nice utility mod. Even sometimes I even use it just for regular gameplay because it's a good mod. And yeah, chest visuals. Just like in every other mod, it exists. Oh yeah! I forgot to tell you. Steel button. The reason why it's that slow is to prevent anti-cheats from like absolutely beating you up for like stealing too fast. You can turn it up by going through the uh this GUI here. And let's see. Yeah, that's a thing. It just blinks your skin. So uh, that is another feature that you could do. There's tons of features here, so if you are going to install it, I highly recommend you just play around with this in a single-player world to figure out. There's, like, these mini-games where if you're doing, like, murder mystery, it automatically shows you, like, murders, all sorts of other things, lag. These, um, these ones sometimes don't work because, um, of how easy, how easily they get patched. So, I just recommend this, this section can easily get you banned on most servers. I mean, I got banned on Hypixel twice for abusing that section. And, and then there's just a bunch of other player things, and, oh yeah, this, this one, let's see, wait, there's one of them here, yeah, CSGO Crosshair, if you're willing to that kind of thing. 360, no scoping cats. Yeah, that, that's what we do here. But, yeah. That's Harayan, basically. And, that's, that's pretty much it. There's still more features I have not covered in this. Okay. These slimes are starting to make me annoy. Okay. There's still more features that I did not cover in this video due to time. But I'll I'll be doing another video for the worst hacked client. This is um no like the literal this is how you spell it. Worst I think. I might have typed that wrong. Oh well. But it's another hacked client for many other versions of Minecraft. So uh if we get a few likes on this I might do it. That that also depends if Shad lets me upload another video to his channel. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, have a nice day.